So, welcome next gen Kansas. We got this guy already reversing back into somebody. Uh, <laughs> so you know how I said in the truck video, not truck video, X, uh, Xfinity video, that I was going to qualify for some reason. I, I tried to attempt to qualify and I, I wrecked on both laps. Uh, first lap I got loose, hit the wall, wall streaming out, but I got a contact for it. So I didn't count it. And then in the second lap, I uh, contact wall. Not enough to give me contact, but I got so loose, I ended up overcorrecting and then bam, right into the wall and destroyed the whole right side of the car. But we didn't turn a lap. So, um. <laughs> even when I try the will of the universe is for me to start in the middle of the pack. We're starting a P22, I think it's a 27 carb field, and number 9 when it comes to I rating. So, let's see how much of a disaster this race ends up being. Um, this thing uh, is kind of weird. It kind of plows, but it's loose at the same time. I don't get it. But I don't get anything anymore. And we're rolling. Whoa. I'm up there with extreme lag. This guy already hit the wall. We are dying behind us. And, well, that didn't take too terribly long. How the hell do you wreck on lap one? Like, ser <laughs> seriously. I guess we'll restack them and you know just go again. Yeah, we'll just keep the up high gear just there's some fuel in it. <laughs> Wreck for literally last you, you know what you're right, they did. Like why would you go that hard into turn one and you're that far back? Just chill and say it's higher. You're like, well, where are you going? I mean outside of into each other. Uh, amazing, just amazing. We didn't even make it all the way down the back stretch, and y'all already took each other out. You know what's really funny is um, or fun to do, is get people to uh, yell your reg to have them race. And they're always just people like all oh, racing is super easy, you know, that kind of crap. And you put them on here, and they just immediately wreck the thing. And they're just, you wash them drive. And like, there is no concept of a racing line, and their inputs, like, you know, steering wheel pedals. And they're just like, you know, they're, they're just so abrupt, I guess you could say, with their inputs. And it's like so, like, they'll go way too far deep in the corner and plow off into the wall. And I'm just, uh, just talking about, you know, oval shit. Because everyone thinks that all this stuff's full throttle the whole time. So they go in the corner and they knock the wall down. And they'll do it multiple times and they don't realize that the car, you've actually destroyed a car. Like, the tow link's completely broken. You're steering to the right at 94, like a 90 degree angle. But you're just going to keep going. It's like, man, this thing drives like shit. Yeah, because you wrecked the damn thing. So... And they're just like, they're in the middle of the racetrack, they are just, like the hand-eye coronation is just not there. So, it's always really fun to watch. Why do we have a car that's in P7? Came out pit road? Okay, that's weird. Man, this race would go by a lot faster if you guys stopped wrecking. Oh, by the way, I bought the Catalunya for the um, Super Formula Lights because they're racing there at Barcelona. And it's, I think they have it raining every single session, which, like, uh, <laughs> like, 
And I kind of like tried this in the dry, and it's always just a downpour. It wasn't downpouring, but it wasn't even raining, this track was soaked. I don't know how many of those races I'll do this week. I know F4 is at Road Atlanta, which outside of one Super Formula Light when I got there, that race has been a that track's been a nightmare for me. I just wrecked there every single freaking time. Alright, we'll put this in the uh, right race gear. Uh, what gear name be in? Huh? R4 race. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blows the motor. Okay, see how far we can make it this time, guys. Oh. Someone up here was not in the right gear. Guarantee it. Not in the right gear. Fastest lap is a 49, okay. All these guys are just plowing the nose. Okay, well. All right, we made it a full lap. Yay! I'm on top of three wide. I'm gonna squeeze in the wall. Maybe. It feels like I put so much I put so much wheel on this car. Oop, we're gonna tie off exit. Hey, if I go to the I'm just gonna not go anywhere. Oh, got a spinner on the bottom. That guy's going to have a shit entry. He's going to come right back across the racetrack. We're wrecking to the inside here, are we? You know? The guy just got really loose. Or was that the guy come back across the racetrack? I have no idea. I just saw someone sideways to my left side. Also, if you ride the seam when you're really tight, it will uh, help de wedge the car like quite a bit. And we're already going like extreme bottom up here. Thing. If, you, if you're hearing squeak in the background, that's actually my throttle pedal. It sounds like a damn bird. I don't know why. It's like really bad right now. Got a little bit loosey goosey off the corner. That's what he's doing there, qualifying. It's like right on exit. It's just breaking loose. I got in front of the way too late. I kind of overdrove the corner a little bit. Kind of curious at what point do I start like shifting? Kinda yeah, seems like the bottom has some grip. I'm also kinda curious how strong the side draft is on a mile and a half compared to our sugar plate tracks. Yeah, right here exit of two is a bit looser. Yeah, I'm just 
Yeah, it feels like I already burned the tires up a little bit. Nope, that finger three wide. Three. Maybe those guys are getting better rotation on the bottom, I don't know. I don't know if any of these guys are shifting it or not. I have no idea, like, at what point you start doing that. Oh, wow, where the fuck? The 14, like, really fucked that corner up. I didn't even realize I was passing them. I don't know, it feels like I might be burning my stuff up. I'm cashing them. Oh, a good exit right there. It's just when you cross over that seam that makes you a bit loosey goosey. I don't know if, if he hit the wall or if I heard hit the wall. I didn't feel it, but I heard the noise of a wall hit. Yeah, fucking dirty air. Oh, I am plowing the nose behind this dude. Oh, well. I mean, Fernandez decided that he wanted to uh, just get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, we'll make it a little easy. Ooh. Kind of over drove the corner a little bit. I'm transitioning to the apron. It's not the best thing in the world, that's for sure. It feels like I need even more rear brake bias, but I can't legit can't go any lower. Yeah, uh, three and four feels a hell of a lot more tighter than compared to one and two. One and two is pretty loose, but three and four, I don't know why, is a much tighter corner. Guy, got three and four. You need to hit the seam. He's on the wall. Yeah, it didn't slow him down too much. We got to run. Got to run. There we go. I caught the wall. Hurricane caught the wall too. It's weird, like, wall heads don't really, unless you don't get grabbed into the wall, they don't really slow you down. You know, I'm thinking about shifting, I just don't know how well it's going to work. Let's 
seam. Seems like sad drive. <laughs> yeah, side drafting kind of works in these things. Oh, he had a left big time. There it is in our spot. Oh, way. We're in a wall. I drove. I was trying to use like a lot of brake there. That didn't work. Get back in the rhythm here. Yeah, wall hits only affect you. Like, you get him off the corner exit, as long as you don't hit it too hard, you're fine. Yeah, let's just try fucking down shifting to see if it does anything. Three, two, four. I I don't think downshifting's gonna be. Let's do like a full lap downshifting just to see what it does lap time wise. Five, okay, let's do one. Without shifting to see if it makes a good difference. So, yeah, the last stop was uh, fifty four. Yep, definitely faster, not shifting. Okay. Kind of feels like I'm over rotating a little bit. Gotta keep hitting that seam. At least for three and four, definitely don't want to hit for one and two. I don't know, I, I guess it's from, from the shade, it's one or two, feels like he's got more grip. Yeah, the leader. Leader's gone. These guys are racing each other so fucking hard. The leader's took it off. It'd be funny if these all these guys wrecked each other. I can see it happening. A little bit faster than eleven, but not by a whole lot. At the run, he's probably going to block me up top. Yeah, I'm like really tight. There might be some grip on the bottom. Like, I'm halfway tempted to try it. Let's try it. Boy, maybe not.
Oh, okay, hang on a second. It actually exited very good. Oh, we're wrecking, we're wrecking, we're wrecking, we're wrecking. Okay, missed it. That's a yellow. I didn't even see it. I was so concentrated, like, on 11 and trying to hit my line. Like, it just plowed the nose so bad going into the corner. Let the 12 by. Ooh. I think the 11 slowing up for him. Where is the 12? Okay, the 12 is... Well, we got up to 7th place. Yeah, I think that bottom was about to... I think the bottom was trying to get some speed up here. The top, the top is just getting so fucking hot. Come on, love this. Catch up. Come on, Danny Hammond. I know you got the you got speed on pit road. That's what you do. So I can throw a cucumber at you. I don't know where the fuck that star white people start throwing cucumbers at them. I'm pretty sure it's a sexual thing, but I'm not for sure. Have the first stall here. At your mark now. Turn in, turn in, turn in. Come on. Leaving on me. Oh. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. That's gonna cost me a couple slots. Alright, God, these things lock up horrible at low speed. Fucking terrible stop. What more fires on that? Sending one, uh, 70, 79. If possible. I think, I, I think the fucking 11 overshot is stall too. I came in 6, right? I probably, I think I lost one spot to the, uh, that black and orange car, whoever that is. Eighty-six, eighty-three. Who the fuck's that? The twelve had that good of tires. God damn! What the fuck am I doing wrong? And how was I that quick still with them when my tires were that shit? Hmm. I was actually kind of kind of curious about that now. Like I burned my shit up compared to these guys. Hey, my tires were terrible compared to them, but I was keeping up. I lost two spots. Okay, great. At least I'll be on the outside. Yeah, I was... Yeah, those guys are like in the mid, the low 80s, and I'm like... Yeah, according to my tires, I was melting the right front. I was putting way too much will into it, though. It was... I was keeping up, though. This is one of my better tracks. Uh, it really depends on the car. If it's like knock the wall down tight like the trucks are, oh, I hate it. If it's got some rotation in it, uh, the Xfinity cars, well, if I didn't wreck in that race, I would have liked it. This one's got, it's got rotation through uh, the exit of two, or it kind of wants to go around, but it's, it's, it's kind of a bit too much on the loose side on this end of the speedway. That's the thing that kind of sucks about this track, though, is, like, I know, you if you try to make a dive bomb to the inside of somebody and it doesn't work and you get stuck on a bottom, it's very easy to get freight train to go straight to the back.
are in the right gear. And seeing how much of a mess this restart is going to be. Accidentally was in the wrong gear. Whoa, fuck, that's me. That's me. Damn it. Uh, they're wrecking the back, though. I don't think I got damage. Ah, oh, that fucking sucked. Just started fucking turkey walking on me, and that's all she wrote. I know they wrecked behind me, that's what kind of saved me. Dude, we don't have enough time to come in there. Was that my fault? I got a feeling that was on me for like... I don't know. Dude, that the uh, 16 here has never heard a thing called training things before. So. <sighs> Damn. Like, I don't see if in there crawled up on. These things are pretty tough. If I got any damage to probably like 12 seconds, I'll be okay. But, ah, that was unfortunate. So it get, just got loose and it started. Just kind of start. Walking up the track like both of them start skipping up and yeah. You know, surprise I racing has it had like a. I wouldn't say rescan because they don't really rescan ovals that much. But like a uh, refresh of this track because the asphalt is definitely not this dark anymore. This is this is actually one of the older tracks on the cert on the service now. Well, you know, to be one of the older ones, and then there's been nothing touched. Of course, the only tracks they touched is when they did the uh, that pro invitation. If it was going to be on TV, they gave it a big graphics update to make it look nice. I'm just glad where I wrecked. Or hit the wall. I didn't like take a bunch of people out with me because that's always like my biggest worry. It's like when you hit the wall, especially when you kind of, hey, you don't want to bounce off of it. That's really easy to do. And also, you fight the game of like when you hit the wall, you don't want to bounce off of it to come to the guy to your inside. But you also play a game where if you try too much to do that, you stay in the wall and you just become a roadblock and there's people behind just run you over. So it's very hard to like, I guess, hit the wall and get away with it in a way where you don't fuck over people around you, and you don't lose as much speed. So. Be on the outside again, which may or may not be a good, uh, good thing this time around. You can see where these guys are wrecked up here. Get to restart with nine to go. I never realized how quickly this race went by. It was a very long ass green flag run.
Alright, let's um try this again and not die hit the wall like we did last time. Again, the right gear not accidentally shifting the fur like we did last time. Oh, it's a good guy. Yeah. I think this got off the throttle and like up shift because I was holding down the shifter so I can just like tap the clutch and it will go. Instead of doing it at the same time, I'm trying to do it a different way. Yeah, that not probably not the best idea. Alright, nine lap shootout. Ooh, I was sleeping. Well, they're doing something stupid on my inside. All right, it's not uh, do what I did last time here. Oh, we're loose. Okay. All right. Didn't work. Okay. They are. Are they wrecking again behind me? They are. Oh, we are really fucking tight. Holy crap. in the river. That was my fault for getting the wall like that. I don't think that damage hurt me either. Yeah, that guy's shifting. I have no idea. Oh, he's going to have a shit entry. Oh, that was disaster. Ooh, you got loose right there. And we're currently running in what? Seven foot, okay. We might have a problem. I think that guy's head hunting. Okay. I thought he was going to go for this orange car in front of me. I was really worried. Now we got four lives to go. Oh, they're wrecking behind us. Wrecking behind us. I don't know if it's going to be a yellow or not. Here, just too loose. Just, I mean, it's almost perfect for three and four, but and yeah, we're not that great anywhere else. All 
Alright, white flag. Looks like we're only get eighth unless so this guy are frozen on uh, Northrop up here. Yep, there he goes. Hey, he's going to defend against it. Oh my god, what the heck is that car doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is a lapper doing? Someone's going to cuss that dude out and he deserves it. Like, why are you running in the middle of the racetrack when you're a lap down? Yeah, that one restart, I uh, probably have gotten probably a couple positions higher. And again, when that cat came back up across the racetrack and took that dude out, that might have been me, so... It was a good thing I fucked up. Alright, well... Uh, well, A will take it. Let's take a look at that one wreck where I kind of like got really loose off the corner. And be this... this restart here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, she just... Yeah, we're correct. Oh, yeah, they just wrecked back there. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck did that do? This caution's out, 19. What the fuck are you doing? So that was nothing on me. Uh, that was back on this guy right here. Not that many cars involved. Oh, we have more guys spin up here. Oh! The rack after the rack. What happened here? Oh, don't tell me he comes all the way across the racetrack, missed the rack. Oh, they're wrecking up there. He had nothing to do with it. And he got clipped. Oh, dude, that one guy got so lucky. He almost got clobbered. But. Alright, well, fun race. Decent. I'll take it. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.